For most health conscious consumers out there, the world of plant-based milk is no stranger. Not very long ago, soy milk used to steal the show, but then almond milk emerged and captured a significant share. Others like coconut and rice milk also played a key role. There wasn't until the arrival of oat milk that everything took the back seat, making it the second most popular alternative milk. Oat milk is often pitched as the ultimate cow milk alternative. But let's uncover the truth behind the scenes. You might not be aware of this, but plain oats mixed with water aren't particularly tasty. That's why oat milk cartons are filled with additional additives to enhance the flavor, smoothness, and texture of the product. Oils, sugars, gums, emulsifiers, stabilizers, and more. Here's the kicker. A glass of oat milk can spike your blood sugar levels as much as a can of Coke, and it contains as much oil as your favorite French fries. It's mind-boggling, isn't it? The box won't clue you in because, let's face it, oat milk has a bit of a secret. It's somewhat of a scam. Now let's dive in and uncover the whole truth about oat milk and oats. We'll explore their history, examine the different types available, and evaluate the pros and cons. If you're ready to separate fact from fiction and determine if oat milk and oats truly live up to the hype, then grab your favorite brew and let's get started. Oats have been a dietary staple for over 30,000 years. Our ancestors recognized the potential of wild oats and transformed them into a simple, nourishing meal. While the ancient Greeks and Romans occasionally enjoyed oats as a snack, they were generally considered peasant food, more suitable for livestock than for lavish Roman feasts. However, oats found their stride in the misty landscapes of Britain, becoming a dietary staple by the 1500s and gradually spreading their influence worldwide. In America before the 1900s, oats were primarily fed to horses rather than consumed by humans. However, this perception changed with the advent of local milling and the emergence of grocery shopping. Oats became a preferred choice among consumers due to their relative abundance and cost-effectiveness compared to other grains like wheat and barley. Everything took a significant turn in 1882 when the Quaker Oats Company, an American game changer, entered the scene and implemented a huge advertising campaign. They revolutionized the perception of oats, transforming them from mere farm feed to a popular hot breakfast choice. The marketing wizards at Quaker Oats employed innovative strategies such as distributing trial-sized boxes to pique the public's interest. Over time, they continued to innovate by introducing quick oats, instant oats, and even flavored options like maple and brown sugar oatmeal in 1970. In this way, oats underwent a remarkable transformation, transitioning from humble farm feed to a beloved and versatile breakfast option. After oats made their way onto our shelves, they presented themselves in various forms. The least processed variety is oat groats, which consists of whole kernels and provides a fiber-rich bite. Steel-cut oats are simply groats that have been chopped, requiring a longer cooking time but having a lesser impact on your blood sugar levels. Scottish oats are finely ground to achieve that perfect porridge consistency, while rolled oats are steamed and flattened to facilitate quicker cooking. However, when it comes to quick or instant oats, convenience comes at a cost. These oats are processed to be super thin and cook in no time, but it's important to be aware of their potential impact on your blood sugar. Due to their higher surface area and faster digestion rate, quick oats can cause a quicker spike in blood sugar levels compared to less processed varieties. Additionally, some instant oats may contain hidden sugars or flavorings, so it's crucial to read the label and be mindful of the ingredients you're adding to your breakfast. Oats are like the unsung heroes of the pantry, offering a rich nutritional profile that includes fiber, B vitamins, and minerals like iron and magnesium. They are bundled with antioxidants and are known for their heart healthy benefits. The fiber in oats can help reduce cholesterol levels and promote cardiovascular health. Oats are particularly rich in soluble fiber, including a type called beta-glucan. This soluble fiber forms a gel-like substance in the digestive tract, which aids in reducing the absorption of cholesterol into the bloodstream. Beta-glucan has demonstrated its ability to lower LDL cholesterol levels by binding to cholesterol in the gut, 
and facilitating its excretion from the body. This mechanism makes oats a valuable dietary addition for managing cholesterol levels and supporting heart health. Oats can also increase the excretion of bile acids. Bile acids are produced by the liver to aid in the digestion and absorption of dietary fats, including cholesterol. When oats increase the excretion of bile acids, the liver needs to use more cholesterol to produce new bile acids, thereby reducing the amount of cholesterol circulating in the bloodstream. Other than that, Many articles also claim that oatmeal can reduce blood sugar level due to its low GI. Its high fiber content can promote feelings of fullness and satiety, which may aid in weight management by reducing overall calorie intake. But many didn't really mention some oatmeal's products actually have higher GI than white rice or porridge. Other said benefits also said the fiber helps regulate digestion and prevents constipation. However, it's important to be aware of the flip side of the oat coin. Individuals with gluten sensitivity should exercise caution due to potential cross-contamination. Oats can be calorie dense, so portion control is crucial if you're mindful of your calorie intake. Furthermore, some oat products may contain hidden sugars, so it's essential to carefully read labels to ensure you're not consuming an excessive amount. Lastly, oat allergies do exist. So if you experience adverse reactions, it's advisable to consult with a healthcare professional. Apart from these factors, oats, like many grains, have sparked a debate centered around phytic acid. This naturally occurring substance in oats can be a double-edged sword. While it is present in the grain, it can bind to minerals like iron, zinc, calcium, and magnesium, making it more challenging for your body to absorb and reduce their bioavailability. If you consume large quantities of oats regularly, you may inadvertently hinder mineral absorption, potentially leading to deficiencies, especially if your diet is already lacking in these minerals. Individuals such as children, expectant mothers, and those with certain health conditions should be cautious. Additionally, some people may experience bloating and gas due to oats and their phytic acid content. Fortunately, there's an old school kitchen magic trick to mitigate this issue soaking, fermenting, or sprouting your oats. These techniques act as a peace treaty for phytic acid, reducing its impact and allowing your body to absorb the minerals more effectively. Although it requires extra time and effort, this practice may benefit your digestive system and skeletal health in the long run. In summary, oats can be a good addition to your diet, but paying attention to these considerations is key, much like with oat milk. Quaker Oats Company has been involved in controversies. From 1946 to 1953, Quaker conducted studies at the Walter E. Fernald State School, where children unknowingly consumed cereals containing radioactive elements for mineral absorption research without informed consent. This scandal resulted in a lawsuit settled by Quaker in 1997. In 2010, Quaker faced scrutiny for misleading health claims in their products. They promoted items like granola bars and instant oatmeal as heart healthy and wholesome, despite containing trans fats, which are associated with heart disease, diabetes, and certain cancers. After a four-year legal battle, Quaker committed to eliminating trans fats and invested $1.4 million in the process, while denying any wrongdoing in their marketing practices. The popular alternative to dairy milk, oat milk, has some hidden secrets beneath its wholesome image. Brands use terms like pure and homemade on their oat milk packaging to appeal to health conscious consumers, but these labels can be misleading. Pure oat milk made only from oats and water is frankly quite bland, far from the creamy flavorful drink that consumers have come to love. To enhance taste and texture, Companies add additives like rapeseed oil and chemicals. Rapeseed oil, also known as canola oil, is a widely used vegetable oil derived from rapeseed plants. Some individuals prefer minimally processed oils obtained through cold pressing methods. While canola oil contains omega-3 fatty acids, it also has a relatively high content of omega-6 fatty acids. Consuming excessive omega-6 fatty acids relative to omega-3s may lead to inflammation and potential health risks 
like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and cancer. Another additive, dipotassium phosphate, uses an emulsifier and pH regulator, poses health concerns such as potential kidney damage and an increased risk of early death. Additionally, oat milk may contain maltose, a sugar with double the glycemic impact of white sugar. This means that seemingly innocent oat milk could spike blood sugar levels as much as a can of soda or provide as much oil as a portion of fries. For instance, according to the USDA, a cup of oatly oat milk contains 120 calories, 3 grams of protein, 5 grams of fat, 16 grams of carbohydrates, 2 grams of fiber, and 7 grams of sugar. The low fiber content and high carbohydrate content in oat milk can be a downside for individuals with a history of diabetes, as it can raise blood sugar levels faster than whole oats. The unfortunate truth is that some companies may prioritize their bottom lines over consumer health. By marketing oat milk as a healthier and cheaper alternative to dairy, they tap into consumer trends without delivering on the promised health benefits. This marketing strategy has led to the unveiling of the Great Oat Milk Scam, exposing a profit-driven approach that capitalizes on health appeal without substance. As you navigate the world of oat products, it's crucial to arm yourself with knowledge and discernment. Start by becoming label literate and choose products with minimal, recognizable ingredients to avoid unwanted additives and sugars. Favor products with whole grains and minimal processing as they retain more natural nutrients and benefits. Be aware of marketing strategies that portray a product as healthy while concealing less desirable aspects. For those with dietary restrictions or health concerns, avoiding certain products may be the best approach. Certified gluten-free oats can be a safe alternative for individuals with gluten sensitivities. Being a smart consumer involves making informed choices, opt for organic options to avoid pesticides, and select steel-cut oats instead of instant oats for a lower glycemic impact. When choosing oat milk, try to choose those without added oils, or at least less processed or cold-pressed versions. Opting for options with no added sugar, while less flavorful, can be a better choice. Keep in mind that these options may be less creamy than regular oat milks. Alternatively, consider making oat milk at home or exploring other milk alternatives if you can't find better options. In today's oat milk market, finding the right option can be overwhelming. However, not all oat milks are the same. While some brands have faced criticism for deceptive practices, it doesn't mean that all oat milk is problematic. There are genuinely healthier and more sustainable dairy alternatives available. The key is to empower yourself through education. As a consumer, you have the ability to make informed choices. By becoming skilled at reading labels and staying informed about the ingredients in these products, you can avoid scams and select oat milk options that truly deliver on their promises of purity without hidden additives. That's all for today's video, guys. What do you think of today's video? Tell us your views in the comments section. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. See you in the next video. Until then, best wishes.